hello hello friends in this video we are going to see how to make an automatic student report card sometimes you make report cards using different softwares and those softwares are just containing formulas uh, numbers or text or whatever but we don't have the right to make some changes whatever is there we don't have the right to change it is uh, it is automatic and we can also make our own student report card and the report card that we can just make here must be automatic you can see whatever i uh, just uh, let me just move to the room number if i just uh, pick any number any student number you can see it changes you can see it is automatic even the name of student changes you can see I can just make a, a, a student report card like this one and print it out if I want and you can see it's very nice. We don't, we don't always need uh, softwares to make a student report card. Here you see how subjects but there are somehow few, you can just put other uh, subjects if you want. We are just going to use this one as a as a template and we are not just going to uh, to go from this so we're just going to move to another sheet and start our own timetable step by step here in the middle is you have another sheet score was and this is uh, the data that we're just going to use and you're just going to try to make a student report card like this one here at the top here you can see there are school name uh, let me try to go step by step to make this one and you can see here I can just uh, go from uh, go from this column you can just uh, pick here you can see the color uh, they, it looks the same as the one that we have here and I can just select any range I want because everything I can just do here can be modified if I want I can modify I can just uh, make different changes if I want, I can just here change this color to this. You can see this in the background. I can just edit this. I can just delete this if I want. I can just uh, go to the format painter and select any other region that I want. You can see. I can increase. I can just decrease. You see. I can just make different changes. That's why I can pick the, uh, the, the range I want. I can here just... Uh, start typing uh, maybe I just want to put phone if you want and I just want to put the point and I just want to put the point in column C if I just want to put the double point here just need to minimize the cell and I can just put my phone uh, just the phone number here here 250 Seven eight eight six six eight four one. If I want, I can just go here and pick uh, and just type a school name. You can see if I type a school name like this, and once it is in cell, it will be disturbed with. It will be the certain time just want to type in something else in another, another cell. That is why a better way to write a very long title or very long type text in this uh, report is better to just to pick a text box. Let me insert, go to insert and just go to text box. You can see, I can here just uh, go to text and just check here check uh, text box and I can just bring this cursor and put the, the text box I want yeah this text box can be just moved anywhere I want this is the uh, this is the importance of this uh, text box I can just uh, type the name of the school and put any school here and put the name here can see I can just here you can see uh, you see it, is, uh, it has a very it has a very uh, a different background from this one I can just change it how to change this I go to I put my culture here and I go to format I go to shape fill 
and here there is no fill you see the background is now going to be the same and I just go there and change there is no outline now it can be moved but it has no outline or shape no fill and down here I can bring another text box I can just go to, again to the insert and I move to the right side and I take a text box and I just want to put a location here down can put the text box anywhere you want. You can see, you can just uh, move it this way. You can just uh, increase the size if I want. Now, let me just put uh, the location. Maybe you can put a, I put a district. I can put a sector if I want. I can put a sector if I want. I can even change the color. And just even just to change the color to the color I want, I can make it uh, Bruax and one, and I can even just change uh, the go to format and choose no fill and you no know, choose no outline. I don't need an, an outline because I just want to stay with the same background, and I can just keep it like this one. And let me zoom out again, and you see what I have here. Whatever I type, I write here as a, as in a text box. I can just move it the way I want. I can here increase the size, and I can here just uh, move this one down. Cause here I just want to to make this one fit. I can here change the font. I can just. Uh, make it times new roman i can here increase i can even just take this one i can italicize if i want i can just uh, change it to, to times new roman and i can even increase to fit and let me just uh, put uh, take an i uh, take a look here you can see what i have down here a student report card just want to to do the same I just go again there, take a uh, text box, and I just want to put a title here, student report card. Student report card. Student report card. I can increase the font, start font size too. I can increase it, and I can make it times in Roman. Times in Roman, I can just here increase again. I can just uh, move it and center this if you want. I can just go to format. I can go to no fill and here no sh uh, no shape outline and see now what I have. And remember that you can even border if you want. I can border again this one and just make it bold can see can make it bold maybe the phone number two can make it bold and here what what else again i have down there you have a low number class and student name a low number down here in which quorum this nine draw nine low nine where's low nine it is here can just make this one up again can just go to low nine and put roll number and this is uh, and down here another cell what i have there cross you have to put cross uh, down cross the student name if i remember well yeah this student name student name student name i can just make everything here Times near Roman, uh, times near times near Roman, and I can just make the font size to 12. And what all what else I have there? I just have. Uh, I can just here uh, move this one because I just want to put stools. And not to put here the the those uh, the the point because I just want to type 
Uh, let me see what I got here. Get here, you can see my keyboard. You have 10, and uh, you have just a uh, you have grass, you have names, and these are things that I'm just, I'm just not going to type. We're just going to use formulas. Here in this support, you're just going to have uh, different functions, but mainly we use uh, uh, diff uh, some three functions, like some some function, VLOOKUP. I remember that there are a video that just, I just, just uh, made about how to use VLOOKUP. There are different examples about VLOOKUP, and we can also use if function in this uh, this automatic report student report card and here this low number what do i just need here let me just use vlookup to extract to extract the student number that i have here and have them in my report card so that one time i pick here a number you can see i just get this one and here, you see, I just have uh, done that. Here, I just have uh, a drop down list. Yeah, just to get this one, I just need to go to data. I'm just going to use a drop down list. And then I go to uh, I go to data validation. You can see. I go to data, then data validation here. To program. And then I go to data validation. Data, then I move that to the right. And I chose data validation. What do I have here? You can see any value. Here you need to choose a list because I will just have a list. And I just need to choose the source. Where is the source? I just here I try to minimize and I just need to, to move to the source. Where are the data? My data are just here. I just want to pick to pick this one. This is the data you can see. I only have 11 students. You may have a lot of students, but you just have to select all of them. And that I will come here back and I click OK. You can see here I have now drop down list. In time, I just put my cursor here. You can see there's a drop down list. I can just pick any number I want. And here you can see down here I have cross. I have cross and we are always where we are just can just find cross cross here is a senior for PCM and here can just use VLOOKUP to get the cross and let me just here I could sign just a VLOOKUP function and what do I want I just want the cross cross of which number I will just pick here and this is a uh, I can just put a comma and I can here click F4 to to make it. Can just click, click just uh, lock it right this way using a 4 table array. Where is the table array? I can just go there to the score and I click table array. I just want to use this one. This is the table range. I have now the table range and here at the top. I will just go there and put a comma. I can even put a four if I want. Uh, let me just uh, try it like this one, and just uh, because I put my calls there, and here just to put. Uh, I need to put what quorum index. About the quorum index, I've seen that you just need to be back there and just count one, two, three, four. I need to check where is it across. Cross in the quorum, uh, quorum three. Let me just go there and take three. Or let me just go back to my podcast and there. I can just read this one. I need to put uh, three as a uh, uh, column index. And now here I just have to. I need just here to match. Here I put zero. I've seen this how to use this one for exact match and I hit enter and you can see the cross is senior for PCM and I can center this if I want I can just center this one I can go to home and center everything I have here and here you can see and just in the student name 
I do it the same way I have done it here. You can see. I can even copy down here and just move to the other sheet. I have student name now, student name in the column number two, column index. This is one, two. Here you count. And I just go back here. I can here just scroll down to copy the formula. But we need, I will need to, you see, it is 4M, and I just need to to choose another column. This is to, I do the same. See the name. Now, once I choose another student, you can see the name now is changing. You can see. Now it is starting to be very nice. Whatever I choose, VLOOKUP is just uh, doing this for me. And now, I'm here now, can see, we are now just here. I can now just uh, put, um, yep, now just uh, design this one. I need to put, I need to put max point of 10 marks. You see if the subject here has uh, a total score. I can now just uh, type subject. Yeah, this is uh, uh, low 13. I can just put A in G. Now this is 13, 13 D. I can put here subject. Subject. Yes, yeah, subject within subject. What do I, do I have? Physics, chemistry, mathematics, and enter. Physics. And down there you have mathematics. And on the have uh, uh, physics here, then have chemistry. Chemistry. Mathematics. And then they have entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, and what do I have just there? You see, exam test, exam test. You can see. You can even just type this. You can even copy this if you want. Just to keep time here, you can just copy this one. Let me copy, but don't don't worry. It is as if you type this one. You can just uh, put my cursor here and I copy. You can see. It's very easy. Now let me just put this. I can here change to make this one fit. Yeah, these are things that I can type. Can type. I don't no need. Don't, there is no formula there. There is no formula there. You type. You can just type this. And here subject. Let me just. Uh, let me just bold. I can bold and italicize. Of course, things on this right now, I'll italicize it. And here, I put the total max. The total max, we need just to type. The max point. Physics is uh, is on 70. Here, it is 72. Uh, the max of test must be equal to the max, to the max of the exam. I can even copy this. All I can type, I can type, copy this because there's no formula. It's only typing the max, the maximum, the maximum score. I can just, uh, you can just paste it here. You can see, and here the total. Here I need to put a formula. Some, and here this is a sum. I'm just trying to copy some uh, uh, some numbers, some data because they are not formulas. I can here put a equal sign. I can here put equals equals sign and some function. Some function I need to to add it to to find the total. You can see, and I can scroll down to copy the formula. You can see it, and I can just hear this the max point, and now obtain the max. I will just show how to get obtained marks from the other sheet using the lookup. 
and this is what I get here, you can see. Yeah, this is what I have. Let me just go back in and see. Everything there is centered and in times near Roman. I can just make everything here center. I can just put it 12 font size and times near Roman. Now, the obtained marks. Here, the total of obtained marks. Obtained marks will be uh, just to be extracted from this scroller from the data. And here the total will be will be the sum. I will just again use some function to totalize what is here to make total. And here it is zero because no max yet there. And here let me just put a formula and the huge use I can just here. Let me see what I have there. You can see. You can see here there is total here there is a max score you can see um, now here let me just uh, use view lookup let me try to zoom me to zoom this in and here equal sign and now view lookup I'll double click to copy the formula now what do I look up looking up always it is this number it is this number a photo lock the formula and now table array. The table array is there. I just go to another sheet. I just go to the other sheet. The table array, it is this one. Because I just want to, in time, I just click on the number, our media tree, our media tree get. I put this uh, Dora sign to rock the formula. And you can see here what, uh, what we have. I can just put a comma here. Column index number. What do I have here? You can see. The first subject is physics. And test. This is why I need to put four. One, two, three, four. You can see test physics and here the true approximate match I put zero for exact match and here hit enter you can see half 22 and I can do the same I can do the same and change I can do the same and I can copy the formula and what I do I here just do need here is to change the quorum index The quorum index is four for physics test. What about the test of chemistry? I can come just come here and see. What do I have? Chemistry is uh, six, eight for mathematics, ten for entrepreneurship. I can change. I can change. I will just here go to chemistry and six and mathematics is eight column index the formula is the same that's why i'm just doing it through this eight and now here ten and the column number here for exam i can even copy this formula here to the right if i want it's 22 but here i need to change the column because d9 here is uh, is locked if i remove this door sign this form will not be applied this way. I will not be able to uh, to just to copy it this way. Now can here just put five the quorum for you can just see the quorum for math uh, physics exam. It is quorum five. Five here exam for physics seven for chemistry and here nine and raven mathematics entrepreneurship respectively. And what do I have here? I can copy this one down and see. I can change this one to seven, to seven and hit enter. I can just copy, change this to seven, nine now. And I can change this to, to 11. 
you can see what I have here. If I see here which student I have, I can just change it another day. You can see any student I pick here, you can see. Let me just go to the student number one. You can see what I get. And this is Jorian, Jorian with the physics exam. Let me check. Physics exam 42. Yeah, physics exam 42 is automatic. Now, here I need the percentage. Yeah, for the percentage, I need to totalize. I just here have the total, obtain the score, and here you see I just have 70. 9 over 140 in this stuff in the physics. What do I need to have to do here? I can just take this one equal sign and divide the total obtained score, divide the total max score. And this is a hit enter because I just want to get this in a percentage. If I don't want to just uh, keep this in a percentage, I can just take this. Uh, this total score, this uh, obtained max times 100 and divide this one. I will get just a real number. And you can see here it is uh, this way and I can just uh, here copy the formula down. And you can see I can just select and change it and just to use change the Let me select again and I just want to, to, to go to the number and just click on percentage. I just want to be like this. I just want this uh, this number format. Just want to change this to this number format. Anytime you just want to change it again, you can just go here to numbers and um, just uh, change this one to to numbers now it is in percentage but now I can just now change it to numbers if I change them to numbers you can see what I have and I can just I just want to bring them back to percentage down here you have percentage here it is and you see what I have now here the status I just want to to see if uh, this student have passed physics what to do it? How to do it? I'm just going to use if function. It is condition here now. I can just say if the number here, the number here is greater, is greater than or equal to 50. I just make 50 uh, as a uh, as pass mark, but it's not 50 this way. I just have to put 50 percent. Now, what shall I shall I say? A quote because it is a text. Once you just going to, to put a text in the, in the in, uh, as a condition, may remember to quote. I will say pass. Otherwise, if the value is false, I just want uh, to return fail fail and i caught again and i cross parenthesis i hit enter you see here there is pass you can see and let me scroll down to copy the formula this one fail fail and this one pass because this is over this one can you decrease decimals and see I don't need this was here now you see where I where, where we are now let me just um, let's see what do we have now we are just almost can just uh, pick any number I pick here you can see what I have you can see what I have fail fail pass now the formula is being applied now I just move to the. Now I just move to uh, to this law. This is a. Uh, I have just put this law, but you can just put take it in any way you want. 
there is no need to make it similar like this one you can just change it you can change the row you can just change the columns if you want but here I just want to put the total max power end. the total max power end. the total max power end here total total max total max power end. Total max point. And down here, I just want to put obtained max. The total obtained max. Obtained. Obtained point. Let me use point. Right, total obtained point. And down here, I just want to put the percentage. The whole percentage. Percentage now here. Let me uh, let me just make it uh, like this. I just want to bold this one as a table. And how to get the total max score? How to get the total max score? Because uh, I just need to to keep it here and see how is the the the, 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 the just the final percentage. These are the percentages uh, just of every uh, every subject. Now I just want to see the the, the whole percentage well, in all courses. Now total max point. Total max point. I just I just needed to 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 try this one. One hundred forty. Uh, just this one. Let me just put uh, use some function. As you see here, we are just using a few functions. I can just select from here to here, and I cross here. Hit enter. Now total max obtained sum um, obtained max here obtained point are here I just uh, select and hit enter now the percentage I, can't, I just have to take this and divide by this one I hit enter you see what I have here I can just change it to percentage if you want if you want. Now it's 42 for this student. For this student, Olive. And I can change it. I can just go to 6. Just see what I have. I can go to 4. You see what I have. I can move to 6 to just uh, see what I have. And let me just make this one. Uh, make it 12 point And times new Roman can change this one and I can here change this percentage I can just uh, make this one center let me center the data here that I have I can make them center let me center this but for the text Text, I just want to left a right. Now, let me go back to my template. To the template, you can see here this is uh, 26. I can just uh, increase here the color. I can just change, just uh, copy this, copy this font up to 26. You see now what I get. What is now there? Final decision. 20D here. Final decision. I can put the final decision here. Now final decision. Yeah, this is the decision that I just uh, want to put here but you can just choose what you just want to put here final decision I can here put a, a decision and here no need to put a formula and I just want to go with the the percentage what would be the decision anytime the percentage is below 50 if it is the pass mark, you can just choose 70, 80, you can choose the decision that you want. You can change it the way you want. Let me just here put if. 
let me try to zoom if if the value the value here the total percentage is greater than or equal to 50 to 50 percent what do i need if the value is true i just need to put a uh, promoted if it is uh, false i just want to put repeat and just just want this one to repeat you can put any decision you want i hit enter this one is promoted and what about the percentage it's above 50 you can see let me bold bold this one now this is the final decision and i can also just uh make this one 12 i can again uh, just to change the font all times in euro man you can see what i have here and now down here you can see how far we to sign for the head teacher a head teacher need to sign and teacher need to sign and this 24 can just uh a teacher need to sign now can just use a text box make it well text box here you can just uh put a text box now head teacher or principal if you want you need to put the name here but if you have uh, uh, if you just a uh, if you want you can even put the name of the principal here because it will be the same for all students i can go to format i can just uh let me move the ship fill i can just also remove the the outline i can just make it 12 times near roman and down here down here just halfway to put signature signature and the stamp a signature and the stamp let me again just uh, use text box let me use a text box you can even copy the text box if you want uh, control v and then move here the text And they put signature and the stamp and the stamp signature and the stamp and here the cross teacher need to sign the cross teacher need to sign it to cross teacher's name I put cross teacher name here Or I can put it here if I want. Here it is here, but you can put it where you want. Now cross, cross teacher. You can just say cross teacher and remove name. And down here you can say, but also here you can just use better to use a text box, cause you can just remove it where you want. now name and signature if you want yeah they look the same but we have just made a mistake signature here can here move the the shape fill can remove the shape fill and shape outline 
and I can here put it on the screw where they have to to put the name. Can increase it this way. I go to home. I just make it times new Roman. And here you can just use. You can see it is better to use a text box because I can just move it. Can copy here the text box. And copy the text box and and paste it. Let me just let me remove this one. I can remove this. You can see how it is very nice to use uh, a text box. Cross teacher can now change this to Times New Roman and make it. I make twelve. Guys, I think now we are just uh, going to be almost done. You can see you also can use text box because it's very easy for the text box to be uh, to be moved. You can see, you can move it anywhere I want. You can see. And let me what see what's going to be mail. Now here I just have outside border. Have here outside border. I can select this one. This legion. And select and just come here, come here and put an outside border you can see this outside border and now it is looking nice you can see now everything here is automatic if i make changes here you can see repeat and another thing that i have to know is that anything i just make uh, just a change in the score maybe this one this is sophie and uh, chemistry exam he had zero now i need to put let me show you how Sophie. Sophie, Sophie, it's a uh, three. It's a number three. I can here choose three. Here yeah, three. You see, in, chem in just in chemistry exam, Sophie has zero, and I can just change this score. Let me change zero to. Uh, let me change zero to. To uh, to that four, and see. To change. 34 you can see she no longer has zero and change that we make to the score of student you can here put maybe uh, 40 you can here put uh, uh, 38 you can here just uh, yeah put uh, 50 if you want 59 and change that we can make and change that we can make will just be automatic here and other thing that i can just say is that if it, if it is uh you can just have excel like this one this sheet with those formulas and if this one it is a timely student report card and you can just uh, copy it this one and if you just go to the term two and here this decision must be changed and here just need to find where to put a conduct a conduct to a Point and you can only change this you can just let this one be like this and change only this the score here if it is term two you can just come and copy the, the maxes or the points of term two and time just to put here will be automatically here in this uh because here the formulas it's be it will be automatic and here see there are grid lines you can see here there are grid lines while here we don't have no grid lines you can see how it is looking like i can just go to view i can just go to view if you want i can go to view to view tab and go to grid lines now you can see they are now more and i no longer have them and now how to print this one let me make this uh, 12. let me make this one 12 and Times new Roman. Yes. Can't even bold this one. You can make some changes. You still have the the, the chance to, to just to make this one. You can bold. I can't even bold this one. 
if so, if you want. And let me just try to print. I can select and now print the selection. Can select this and go to print. And now just uh, go to print. I just want to print it to PDF. You can see. Let me adjust. Let me change this one to landscape to make it a uh, fit and just go to scale and make all fit all columns on one page. You can see now it is looking very nice. I can just print this one out as a PDF. I can give it a name. This is a report. Report card. Report card. And I can save it. Anytime I go to this one, anytime I just come here, you can see that I have my timetable. Well, just a well designed, not timetable, well designed report. report card. You can see how the report card is looking nice. You can see. You can add whatever you want to this report card. You can design it the way you want. And here you have very nice report card. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can see, you can just make a student report card in Excel without using any software. Now it looks very nice. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And you, you see how you can make your own student report card. And guys, enjoy the video and keep subscribing to my YouTube channel, guys. See you next time.